So this is where we're at with CS183 lecture number 19. We are, all along we've been practicing selling things that we ourselves did not code um, to get a emotional uh, detachment from eventually selling our own thing and practicing selling other people's thing. Now, this is gonna possibly bake your noodle. We're gonna be selling something that is almost bankrupt. We're gonna be selling something that is called in the venture community, the walking dead or a zombie. This is where the team has faced a full mutiny, one or two or all the co-founders have already quit. This lecture number 19 is very analogous to working on a cadaver as a med school student. You can't kill something that's already dead, why not practice on it? In essence, you're very much just practicing on the dead. You are not practicing on your own startup, which on page 99 of Four Steps to the Epiphany, Steve Blank talks about how a lot of times the first time a founder who's an engineer tries to sell something, it's their own startup. You're gonna end up choking because you're gonna care too much. So why not practice on something that has been written off as dead? And that's what we're gonna be doing in CS 183S lecture number 19. The concept of a post-mortem is where the startup founder wants to quit in a very Silicon Valley way. They write an eloquent tech crunch uh, and they state, oh, this is why we're dying, this is why we're dead. As soon as you see a post-mortem or sniff it, text me and we will coordinate selling after the founders have written a post-mortem. So that's to prove that sales and revenue absolutely will help any company, even one that's facing assignment for benefit of creditors, which is a special form of startup bankruptcy, ABC, startup uh, assignment for benefit of creditors. I wanna say startup school uh, by Y Combinator 2008, maybe 2000, yeah, 2008. Polish up your turds and get super rich. Let me repeat that. Polish up your turds and get super rich. That's Andrew Mason. So CS183 S lecture number 19 is really knowledge activating and practicing polishing up a YC turd so that way we can experience an upside. We maybe won't get rich, but we will be selling something that is defunct and teetering on bankruptcy. That's uh, where the business kind of hits a low point. And my initial business experience with the Trough of Sorrow came from selling Oldsmobile for a person named Jay Prassel, Jay Prassel Oldsmobile, where summer after my junior year, I sold cars. And that Christmas, I went Christmas vacation for University of Illinois Engineering is almost six weeks. Sometimes it's seven weeks, depending on when your final's in. So I would sell for J. Prassel Oldsmobile somewhere after my junior year, and then during my senior year Christmas. So it was eye-opening because he stated specifically, if I just had 10 of you, we wouldn't be going bankrupt. We wouldn't be going out of business. And I thought, wow, that is really significant because there's only right now one of me, but there actually are more postmortem. And the reason I even came across it is because startup school, I think 2010 was going on in Dinkelspiel and Mark Hendrickson was going to cover it. And right before he covered startup school, he wrote uh, in January, uh, the postmortem for plan cast. Plan like a planning a schedule, cast like a fishing cast, plan cast. So after reading the postmortem, I decided to execute a massive turnaround using one large party at South by Southwest. I've detailed it. If you Google plan cast South by Southwest uh, movie launch party, uh, I even got MIT engineer named Jacob Cole to help me sell of that happens in Silicon Valley, also happens in Los Angeles, LA, where people all wanna direct, nobody wants to edit. Everybody wants to be the alpha awesome uh, 
producer, director. Nobody wants to be picking up the junky pieces and then editing together and DJing together something uh, in the editing room. It's very unsexy. You sit in a soundproof room and you just constantly look at junk trying to paste it together. Well, you're pasting together junk, sprinkling on sales, and then magically you've got only upside. So editing in Silicon Valley is a new thing. Sales is relatively a new thing. Combining that with finding junky things that we find in the scrap heap. So post-morteming is such a cool trend that pre-morteming is now a thing. Well, slightly a thing, but you can look out for it. Uh, lecture 3, CS183C, as in Charlie, CS183C Lecture 3 has pre-morteming, which is, oh, we're about to go under, now we're going to write this blog post. And that's a cool concept because that's another way for us to generate some of these leads for, for editing and to sprinkle our sales. I implore you to text, email, reach out to me so that way you and I can work together in sales and selling for something that is uh, on the verge of becoming defunct or is defunct with a pre-mortem. I like looking at different founder teams uh, with teams that uh, work well together. And in this picture, uh, you can see that Gromit is a first responder for when Wallace is getting into a bunch of crap that he can't get out of. Gromit is genius. Gromit measures vegetables. Gromit's the engineer. Wallace is the talky talk person, co-founder, who just talks, doesn't really necessarily execute. So Gromit's a first responder, as are we, not necessarily as first responders, but definitely as responders to try to edit something together and then uh, rejiggy the and prime the pump by possibly getting that startup's first sale. I joke you not, most startups it, that are VC funded, YC funded, never get one nickel in sales. Can't stress that practicing sales and selling for a thing that's all been given up for dead is completely just upside. All upside. When, when everybody in Silicon Valley, all the VCs have left, the founders have left, uh, there's a full-on mutiny, literally a full-on mutiny. Barely the website's up and the Twitter account, people don't know how to reset the password. There's only upside when you're selling in a situation like that. So that's what blows potentially a lot of minds in Silicon Valley is Lecture 19 is about selling something for that's on the verge of an ABC, verge of a startup bankruptcy, verge of assignment for benefit of creditors, ABC. So in sales, a lot of times there's a turnaround. And in startups and in search funds, there is a turnaround. In fact, a search fund is a fund that is raised and that little pool of money searches out for a distressed business asset. You buy that business asset and then you sell a bunch. You sell a massive amount or just sell more than the past founders did. What happens when you're teetering near bankruptcy is that there's a paralysis and then you're choking onto any hope of future sales coming in so tight that your sphincter closes and then your sales pitches sound horrible. So uh, this is actually a class inside of the business school called Stram GT 353. It's turnarounds. I'd like to thank uh, Stanford Business School because if Stram GT 353 and uh, Professor Grosbeck class was not around, CS183 lecture 19, hashtag CS183E, the Jettison sequel class of CS183E to CS183S. CS183E edit is where we are editing somebody else's class. And 19, this CS183S, is where we are selling something that is on the verge of being defunct with our newly acquired sales skills from lectures 1 through 20 or 1 through 18, where we sold a bunch of things. Why not sell? what someone else couldn't that's currently near bankruptcy.